for the test run review. A uh, car is moving at the speed of 50 meters per second when the driver applies the brakes, which causes a deceleration of 3 meters per second squared. So this is kind of related to the previous problem, except in the previous problem, the car's initial velocity was zero. Here the car's velocity initial was 50. And then instead of accelerating, the car is decelerating. How many seconds will it take for the car to stop? And how far will it travel till it stops? Okay? So we use this equation here. V final is equal to V initial plus AT. V initial is not zero now. Except V final is zero. That's the difference. We want to know how many seconds for the car to stop. Final velocity, zero. Initial velocity, 50 meters per second. What's the acceleration? Three, uh, negative three, right? Why? Because the car is slowing down, decelerating, right? So negative three T, that's it. This will tell you how many seconds it takes to stop. 50 over three, which is 16 point, two thirds, which is six, seven seconds. So the car will take 16.67 seconds to stop. How long will the car travel during this time? Well, remember the equation? X final is equal to V initial T plus half A T squared. We could use other equations from kinematics as well, but we could for now use this one. Since we know the V initial, this time it's not zero. We know the time. We know the acceleration. We know the time. We could put all of that in. You have X final, V initial is 50, the time is 16.67, okay? Plus half of, acceleration was what? Negative three times 16.67, Square, okay. So we got to do uh, fifty times sixteen point six seven plus point five times negative three. You ha you should put negative three here. Times sixteen point six seven squared. The distance is four hundred and sixteen point six seven meters. Okay. Now we could use uh, any of the other equations of linear kinematics we, to solve the second question. Uh, we could use this one. X final is equal to X initial plus V initial plus V final over two times T. Any object which is undergoing constant acceleration, this equation applies for that. This is the initial velocity plus the final velocity over two times T. This is like your average velocity, okay? So X final, X initial is zero. What's V initial in this case? Uh, 50, right? What's V final? Zero times 16.67. Now this is way easier, okay? The initial velocity, final velocity over two times the time. What does that give us? 50 divided by 2 times 16.67 for 16.75. Now, within rounding error, there's going to be a little bit of difference between this answer and that answer because we rounded the time. Okay? So you see, it can give us the same answer. So any of the equations of uh, kinematics can give you the same answer. Uh, even the, uh, the other one that we could use, which is this one, V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus 2A X final minus X initial. Since we know the final velocity is zero, initial velocity is 50, twice acceleration is negative three, X final we don't know, X initial is zero, okay? So if we bring this over to this side, we get six X final is equal to 50 squared. So this, the acceleration was negative three, so it comes over here, becomes positive. Final velocity was zero. X final is equal to what? 
2,500 over 6. 2,500 divided by 6, which is 416.67. Now, if you think about it, this is the most exact answer. Why? Because we didn't even use the time. We didn't even use T. We just used the initial B, the given things, 2 and negative 3, and then this is the most exact. So this one is a little bit off. This one is pretty good, close to the exact answer, okay? So um, as a matter of fact, it's probably the same as the exact answer. Uh, let me check here. Yeah, it was pretty much the same as the exact answer, this one, right? If you go on in the calculator, it was 666665, and then that one was 666666. So um, you can see there's three ways of approaching it here. Okay, thank you very much.